This is Sheru. Uh, he's maybe 18, 18, 20 year old. Um, gelding. He's had pedal osteitis for probably since he was at least eight. He used to be really club footed, both fronts. And um, he's got a little bit more of a normal hoof capsule now, but have to manage the way his feet grow uh, due to the bone loss that he has on the solar surface of his, of his coffin bone. So he can have pretty good feet and he moves around really well. He's typically really comfortable and athletic. Um, but I have to stay on top of the wall separation that he gets from uh, the damage that's been done. Um, he also doesn't have very good uh, uh, soft tissue development. His frogs are kind of poor. But like I said, if I can keep the wall separation to a minimal, minimum, then um, and keep his heels low, he has a really good quality life and he can really do just about anything he wants to do. Um, I think I have a video of him moving and I can show that on this on the page too. Um, anyway, so I'm going to show, it's a good opportunity to show um, how I trim uh, horses with wall separation. He's got a little bit of uh, like a retracted sole too, so um, you hear a lot about that. And this is how I take care of that as well. So you can see he's got a, a dish right in here and uh, he's got long toes. He's got a lot of uh, a toe out in front of the tip of the frog and he uh, doesn't have terrible uh, digital cushion back here but it's not that great. But you see his walls are separated. I've got some pictures uh, to, that I'll post too. From nine from about a year ago when they were way worse than this but um, this is how I trim a horse with pedal osteitis and wall separation so I'm gonna start out with his frog he's got these little tabs here and you can see they're soft and rubbery but they're still not comfortable because they're they're pointy and they're they're gonna make him go out on his toe and make all of this all of these problems worse so the whole goal is to get him comfortable back here but he's got a, a high heel you can see this, it's got a high heel. It's also drifts this direction, drifts laterally. And um, he's got a small frog. So he doesn't have a whole lot of reasons to want to weight the back of his foot. So that's why this gets stretched out and he gets the ridge here and the wall separation. So I'm gonna go ahead and start out by taking these knobs off the back of his frog. So when it dries out, those are gonna get rock hard. And smooth those to the widest part of the frog. And then I'm gonna take his heels, and you can see the seed of corn's here, and the widest part of the frog is there. The heel kind of uh, comes up to a point there. I'm gonna take that point out and round that corner from kind of from the inside over. Same thing on this side, and this just follows the uh, shape of the of the corium that the heel grows from. So it's not a People ask why I rocker the heels or why I roll the heels. It's it's not anything. I'm not trying to accomplish anything other than uh, align it with the structures that, that that they grow from. Get him comfortable in the back of his foot. So here I'm just going to take the wall right to the peripheral edge of the foot of the sole, just like I do if he didn't have any problems at all. It's no different. Got a little issue going on right there from kind of uneven weight bearing. This heel gets high and pushes the uh, the latter heel gets high and, and, and makes the medial toe pillar dig in a little bit on the sole right there. So and then I'll take the outer wall.
I don't have to bother. You can see the everything, nothing's touching in here. So he's gonna, that's gonna be comfortable for him. But if I want, I can come in and do a little manicuring. This is all dead bar stuff. I can hurt anything to leave it because it's not making contact, but I can knock the edges off to make the trim last a little longer. That's gonna grow out by the next trim probably, and we can do a follow-up trim on this foot to see what, what effect this trim has in, say, three weeks from now. Front. Okay. Um, so same kind of thing. It's almost a bookend of the other foot. This one's a little bit tighter. It's not as, as splayed in the toe. He gets a, it's a little bit more cupped up in here. This is all right here. This whole steep piece right here is not live sole. This is the sole plane down here. And this is just something he builds up and eventually will break off and curl over and then press against the, the sole. So um, I probably won't be able to get that all out in one uh, trim, but I'll, I'll, I'll put a bevel on the back of it to get his weight pushing it back the other way. So first thing I'm going to do is take these frog knobs out again. This little ridge, a dead callus across the back of the frog. And then same thing, I'm going to roll the heels from the widest part of the frog to the seat of corn. That's what dictates that, that roll. And then I'm just gonna take the outer wall off to the peripheral edge of the sole plane, just like I would in any other trim. back to knock this ridge down I'll come through the frog here where I can get a little bit lower and knock this off at that angle and I'll come through and keep rolling that until I get that down to there um, by then he should have some more concavity back here and it'll it'll balance out that sole plane but this will keep him comfortable right now. If I was to try to go in there and, and take that down where it belongs in one trim, he'd be sore. I'll just get that a little bit more each time. And that might take me a couple months to get out of there. Pretty sensitive horse. Dad put the boobs on it. Whoa. That's not a low lady. You go get one over. You can lay down or not that. <laughs> Is that how they get their work out there? Taking exercise. That's good. He's fast. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Okay, so <laughs> please like okay. Calm down boys. Oh he faked him, that's good. <laughs> Cause I'm done. The race mix with the basketball game mixed with court. Race. 